Technology is completely transforming the way supply chain management works today. But what exactly is this emerging tech that we should be aware of in supply chains? That's what I want to talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world reach their third stage of digital transformation success. And much of the work we do with our client base involves supply chain management. When we're helping clients through digital transformations, oftentimes the core of what they're changing is their supply chain. And as we've seen over the years, technology is changing. It's changing very quickly. There's a lot of new emerging technologies and supply chains are changing quite a bit as well. So what I want to do today is talk about the emerging technology that you should be most aware of and cognizant of as you think about potential supply chain and or digital transformations. And for more information about supply chain technologies and other emerging tech that might be of interest to you as an organization, I encourage you to download our annual digital transformation report. It's a report we publish each year that contains a number of independent software reviews and rankings of supply chain software, as well as other types of software like warehouse management, ERP systems, financials, et cetera. It also includes a number of implementation best practices, tips, and lessons learned. So I encourage you to download that free download in the links in the description field below. The most established and most mature of the emerging technology that I'm gonna talk about here today is supply chain management software. There's a number of supply chain management software vendors like Blue Yonder and Manhattan Associates that provide supply chain solutions that are focused on just supply chains. This includes everything from warehouse management to logistics to procurement and other parts of the supply chain. So you have these established supply chain management vendors that are one option, but you also have other supply chain vendors that provide more targeted solutions within supply chain management. So for example, you have standalone warehouse management solutions. You have standalone transportation management systems, standalone procurement systems, standalone shipping, all types of different technologies that can really go deep into one part of your supply chain. And by the way, if you're looking for more information about specific vendors in each of these different categories I'm talking about, I encourage you to download that digital transformation report that I mentioned earlier in the video, which I've included links to below. But in general, one of the more fundamental technologies that supply chain managers use to transform their supply chains are these off-the-shelf supply chain management solutions. Robotics have been around for a long time, but they're just now really starting to gain traction and steam in supply chain management. Robotics are a way to automate some of the manual labor and some of the error-prone processes that were historically driven by humans. So you think about all the different touch points that a raw material or a finished good has throughout a supply chain, beginning with the manufacturing of the product. You have robotics that can automate the manufacturing process. When the finished products or the raw materials are in the warehouse, you have robotics that can automatically manage the pick, pack, and ship processes. Those are just a couple of examples of how robotics are changing the way supply chain managers manage the overall supply chain. And it's not just robotics themselves that are the game changers, which are big game changers. They're creating more efficiencies and more consistency and predictability and scale than humans can. But robotics also have the advantage of capturing data in the supply chain. I'm actually going to come back to this point in a moment when I talk about Internet of Things in a few moments. But robotics are not just a way to automate manual processes. They're also a way to capture data that we typically hadn't had before robotics in our supply chains. Now, when we look at all the steps that happen in a process within supply chain management, you have a lot of data that's being captured from the time it's a raw material until it's received into a, to a warehouse, until it hits the manufacturing shop floor, until it goes back to the warehouse for storage, until it goes out on a truck, out to the customer, perhaps onto a ship to get shipped to another port in another country, back on a truck to go to another warehouse, ultimately to the customer. There's a lot of touch points there and it's hard to track where exactly a raw material or finished good is. And that's where Internet of Things can be extremely valuable because now we have devices throughout the supply chain that are capturing data that allow us to have real time visibility in ways we didn't before. So, for example, I talked about robotics a minute ago and how robotics have the ability to capture information about the status of raw materials and finished goods whether it's in a warehouse or on a shop floor. 
You also have other devices and other data points throughout the supply chain. You have trucks that can be monitored with devices. You have handheld devices that might be used to track inventory and track the status of different supply chain activities. So we have hordes of data that are being captured, but now we have to figure out what do we do with that data? And that's where Internet of Things comes into play. So Internet of Things is a way to consolidate data and to get and to give us better visibility and integration of that data throughout a supply chain. Now, with all these different technologies we've talked about so far, there's the risk that we have siloed technology that doesn't integrate. And in order for Internet of Things to work and some of the benefits of Internet of Things, which I'll come back to in a moment, we need to have integration between these different systems. So we might have devices out in the field capturing data. We might have multiple systems managing different parts of our business. But ultimately, we need to figure out how to tie this all together so that we have a centralized dashboard and centralized visibility into what's happening in our supply chain. And that's where interoperability and integration technology comes into play. We need to have that core platform that ties together these different technologies. And some examples of interoperability types of technologies would be vendors such as Palantir or Snowflake. Those are two vendors that really tie together and consolidate data from multiple sources and give you unique insights and workflows based on those integration points. So we need to think about interoperability and integration technologies in addition to some of the other technologies I've talked about when it comes to managing our supply chains. Now with all these different systems and the integration of systems and data, now we have the ability to really think about how we can make use of that data in ways that we haven't been able to in the past. And that's where artificial intelligence comes into play. With the complexity of today's supply chains, not just in terms of the systems and technologies we've talked about, but just global supply chains in general, they're very complex. A lot of moving parts, a lot of different geographies we're operating in. You have macroeconomic trends that can affect your supply chain. You have geopolitical and weather related things that can affect a supply chain. So there's a lot of stuff we have to manage, understand, anticipate, and mitigate the risk for. And artificial intelligence can be a great way to do this. Artificial intelligence allows us to take all the data that we're capturing throughout the supply chain and now start to learn from that data and start to predict and analyze what might happen in the future so that we as humans can take some of those different scenarios and take some of the outputs from artificial intelligence and really have better understanding of where the risks are and where the opportunities are to optimize our supply chains. So really look for artificial intelligence as a emerging tech that will completely transform supply chains now and in the future. Now the last emerging tech in supply chain management that I'll talk about here today is blockchain. Blockchain has been around for a while and most of you may think of cryptocurrency when you think about blockchain and it certainly is an underlying technology for cryptocurrency. But blockchain also has a lot of practical use cases within supply chain management. Blockchain can allow us to track each step in the process and sort of provide a unique stamp and understanding of where the steps have been, where the breakdowns have been, and really understanding everything that happened from the initial start of the supply chain until the product reaches the end customer. And so blockchain is a very secure, way in a very unique way that supply chain managers can start to get a better handle on where things are within the supply chain. And blockchain is particularly important and particularly opportunistic when it comes to highly regulated sorts of supply chains. So if you're a food or beverage manufacturer, for example, blockchain technology is a great way to provide traceability in case there's a recall. So you can trace back to what the raw material problem area was and you know which finished products to recall. Oftentimes, if you're contracting or providing goods or services to government entities, you need to have a very secure way of tracking how that product was made and where the product is made. That's another way that blockchain can help. So blockchain technology is another game changer potentially for supply chains now in the future. So I hope this has provided you some insights and understanding of what some of those emerging technologies are in supply chain management. I encourage you to download our annual digital transformation report for more information about digital transformations in general, but also more importantly, independent technology agnostic software reviews and rankings that'll help you understand what some of the best vendors are out there for some of these different technologies we've talked about here today. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day. And supply chain management is a core component of a... <laughs> oh.
Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Information space. Uh, <laughs> space. Uh, um, let me start that over. After the intro, and yeah. then I'll. Yeah. My name is Eric Kimberling, blah, blah, blah. Sure. Make more meaning and provide more. <laughs> yeah. Not quite. I almost had it, but not even close. All right. Where a raw material and finished good has flowed and where it's. <laughs> uh, I'm just going in a circle here. 